Welcome to iLecture Online and here's an example of how you work out an elevator problem. Let's say we have an 80 kilogram man standing in the elevator and just to keep tabs of uh, what his apparent weight is or apparent mass, we, uh, we have a bathroom scale that he stands on and let's say that the elevator is accelerating upward at 2 meters per second squared. What is the apparent mass of the man at that point? And when the elevator decelerates at 2 meters per second squared, what is the apparent mass of the man then? And in each case, the elevator is in an upward motion. So starting from the bottom floor, moving upward, what would be the apparent mass of the man? All right, so the way you work that out is that the force acting on the bathroom scale is equal to the weight of the man plus the force required to accelerate the man either upward or downward. So this is actually a plus or minus. So if the elevator accel accelerates upwards, then we use plus MA. If the elevator accelerates downwards, meaning it's slowing down, we use minus MA. So the force on the man is equal to the mass, 80 kilograms. And so that would be for part A here when the elevator is accelerating upward. So it would be 80 kilograms uh, times G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, plus because in part A, the acceleration is upward, so it would be 80 kilograms times 9.8, oh, not 9.8 meters per second squared because that would be quite an elevator, but actually acceleration is two meters per second squared. So that would be the additional weight pushing down on the, uh, on the scale. So the total force is equal to 80 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared plus 2 meters per second squared. So we factor out an 80 kilograms and then with a calculator, let's see what that is. So the force would be 80 times the quantity 9.8 plus 2 and that would be 944 newtons. Okay, so what is the weight? Uh, that is the weight of the person on the scale, but what is the apparent mass? And so since we know that the weight, the force is equal to weight, which is equal to mg, then uh, that means that the mass is equal to the weight divided by g, which in this case is the force divided by g, which is equal to 944 newtons, divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And if we divide this by 9.8, we get 96 kilograms. So we can see that the, the scale, as the elevator is moving upward, would show 96 kilograms instead of 80 kilograms. Now, what would happen when the elevator reaches the floor that the person wants to get off on, and the elevator begins to slow down, so there's a negative acceleration? So at that point, we have the force is equal to mg minus ma. So remember here that we got rid of the minus because we're accelerating upward. Here it's minus because we're accelerating downward. So this is equal to 80 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared minus 80 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared. So this is equal to 80 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared minus 2 meters per second squared. That's when we, of course, factor out the 80 kilograms. And what do we get now? Well, that uh, would be 7.8 times 80 equals, and so the force pushing down on the bathroom scale would now only be 624 newtons, which is, of course, less than the weight of the person. Uh, and then if you want to know what the apparent weight is, since the weight is equal to m times g, we can say that the mass is equal to the weight divided by g. In this case, the weight or apparent weight is the force on the scale, which is f over g, which is equal to 624 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And that would be the apparent weight of the person in the scale as the elevator slowing down. And that would be 60 four kilograms. So, 96 kilograms when the elevator is speeding upward and 64 kilograms when the elevator is slowing down. So there you can see how uh, it can be quite a sensation in an elevator, especially when the accelerations are large, your apparent weight changes quite a bit at the moment of acceleration. 
And that's how you do a problem like that.